So we run an introductory session to the pain service where people who are referred into the pain service will be invited along. It offers the opportunity for them to find out a little bit more about what it is that our pain service can offer. And before we start, I know I'm a pain psychologist, but I don't in any way think the pain's in your head or somehow we can sort of think our way out of it. We all know you've got pain and we all know the pain is real. But we also know that pain is more than just a horrible, unpleasant sensation that you feel. Pain impacts on people's lives. Just call out one by one any areas of your life that have been affected through living with pain. Being able to pick the kids up. So being able to pick the children up. My life's changed like dramatically. I can't even just get the train somewhere now, I have to get a taxi or just things like that and just not having to think if I do this today, what can I do tomorrow that isn't going to be affected by like going out for dinner tonight and drinks and then not being able to do something tomorrow that might be simple to someone else but not to me. So you're always weighing up that payoff. Constantly. Yeah, is this worth it? If I do this, what's going to happen tomorrow? You get a lot of mental stress, mentally, emotionally, drags you down. You don't know when you're going to be able to get well. And pain's very unpredictable, isn't it? It is very. It's there are times you have your good time, you're not in pain. There are times, with, for me, there are times I cannot even sleep because I can't even carry a shopping bag. I've got four grandsons and, you know, I love them to come and stay with me, but, you know, I find they're helping me. It should be me helping them and doing things with them and going for walks, take them to the park. And I can't do it. And it's really, it does really sort of get you feeling a bit depressed and you know the things you want to do and you just can't do it. And it's really frustrating. The information session also offers, of course, the opportunity for people to be able to ask us questions. And what people may find is often a lot of um, similarities and commonalities between people. No matter what company you work for or what work you go through, once you've got pain, that's it. And it really, and I think this is, you know, to, to summarise, this is why this service is here. We want to support you with all of the picture. And what often happens to start with is that all of the attention and all the help is focused around trying to get rid of your pain, where unfortunately people aren't getting the support. To come to the session today, I think it's a good thing. Even if you're doubtful about coming, you don't have to be, you don't have to speak, you can listen. So anyone that's doubtful, I would say, yes, even if you pick up on one thing that one person says, it's worth it. We also cover a bit about pain biology. The overall principles that we use is what we call a biopsychosocial approach. Bio meaning the biological aspects. So it's important to consider what things look like in your joints, but also how those chemicals may have changed around your body. Psychological. How these things affect you, affect your thinking, how your thinking affects decisions that you then make or your behaviour. We do things that are in our subconscious without even realising that we're doing it. Absolutely. So sometimes that pain receptive is there, we don't even realise. So the slightest of things that we may not have actually um, reacted to mm -hmm. at the time, just that slight thing when you start to react to it. How we work as the pain service is um, with multiple professionals for me it's been a bit of an eye-opener because now there is something there i can go and talk to somebody and say okay this is troubling me so even if we don't change the pain first we can change how people approach activity and we can help people increase their function and increase their activity even if the pain doesn't change your body will allow you to do a little bit more through various ways of approaching activity so coming in, it's not like you're going for one appointment that's just going to sort out one part of the problem. It's offering like a whole overview, I think, of your body. People find by developing these healthier attitudes and beliefs and putting some healthy strategies in place that their pain can reduce. And while we don't guarantee it, what we do know can happen is that people can still improve their quality of life, even if the pain doesn't change. The pain service offers a complete picture and it looks at the whole person and that's a very very important aspect of the pain service the moment a patient has pain and there is proof that this is what's going on the pain service should be the first port of call for that patient